Hey guys, BioLizard1 here, and today I'm going to bring another Wi-Fi battle, and this is a triples match, actually, my first triples match, hooray for me, and this is a match against Fear the Pika once again. I start off with my Sunny Day team, and I start off with Ninetales, Armanitan, and Venusaur, and my opponent starts off with Sandstorm team, with his, uh... What's it called? Excadrill, Claydol, and Tyranitar. Because it's the first narration of my triples match, I have really no idea how I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch out first into my balloon Hades because I'm expecting uh, any sort of earthquake move, and that way my Hades can dodge it. And I really want my um, yeah, what's it called? My Nine Tails to set up the Sun later on in the game uh, because I really don't want him to die this early because then I then my Sunny Day team would be useless because it's my only Pokemon that is able to set up the Sun. So he's going to go for an Earthquake and hits his own Tyranitar, which is actually quite funny. And uh, I'm going to go for um, for a Sludge Bomb with my Venusaur, get some Life Orb Recoil damage, while his Claydol is going to set up... Um, is going to set up his Stealth Rocks. So he's going to go for a Fire Punch with his Excadrill, if I'm correct, on my Venusaur, and that's going to finish him off. Uh, since two Pokémon died, I'm going to be able to switch in my Ninetales back again. All my Pokémon are going to benefit from it. Sawbuck is going to get his Speed uh, raised due to the Chlorophyll, and my uh, Heatran is going to be able to fire off some Stab, uh, some Stab Fire Blasts, which is awesome. He's going to uh, not going to feel comfortable with that because he wants to sand up at the end of the match. So he's going to switch out his uh, Tyranitar because he obviously don't want him to die yet. I'm going to go for a hidden power. Not sure what that hidden power was. I think it was fighting, and I hit the the Rodom, which is actually quite good. I'm going to go for a Fire Blast, and Fire Blast in the sun doesn't quite finish off his Aggron, which got me kind of puzzled though. And I'm going to go for um, a Horn Leech with my uh, Bambi, and that is going to nearly kill off his Kaladol, which is awesome. Um, <clears throat> Claydol is going to go for, what's it called, a Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin is going to uh, remove the Balloon from my Heatron, which isn't the best best thing that could happen to me, but I've it could have been worse, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, after that we get some after-turn effects, and after that I'm going to go for a Flamethrower straight off the bat, trying to kill half his Rotom. But Rotom is like a beast in special defense, but in the sun he won't be able to uh, live a, a Stab Fire... Uh, flamethrower coming from my nine tails. So I'm going to go for a stab fire blast off my Heatron, and then I'm going to go for a horn leech on my Claydol, on the Claydol coming from my Bambi, and that is just going to be a solid three hit KO on all the three Pokemon. Um, with three hit KO, I didn't mean on one Pokemon, but I'm going to. One hit KO all three Pokemon in one turn, which is just awesome. He's going to have two Pokemon left, if I'm correct. He's going to. Oh no. I'm sorry, he's going to have uh, three Pokemon left, he's going to have his uh, Drillroid, his Excadrill, he's going to have Rexy, his Tyranitar, and he's going to have a Mamo Swine. So, um, obviously, I still want my um, my Sun Up late game, so I'm going to switch out into my Luna, my uh, Cresselia, because I just want to switch out that, uh, that Ninetales. Um, he's going to go for another Earthquake, and... Unfortunately for him, he's going to finish off his own uh, Tyranitar, uh, while he's going to be able to finish off my um, Heatron as well. My uh, Bambi is barred grass, um, my Sawbuck, so he's not going to die and he's going to live that pretty easily. But he still has Mamo Swine, and Mamo Swine has access to the um, to the Ice type move, so that is definitely going to um, one hit KO. Um, uh, Sawbuck at that point of the match. I'm going to switch into my Firefox because I switch into hit uh, My Drought is going to be set up again because Drought is set up That means that uh, his Excadrill won't be able to have his boost again, which is awesome for me I'm going to go for a flamethrower straight off the bat because I don't want his Excadrill to earthquake me to the face So that's what I do in the Sun Excadrill won't be able to live it and he's going to die when so he's only left with one more Pokemon which is his Mamo Swine um, my Cresselia went for a Psychic, but Psychic unfortunately uh, doesn't hit Excadrill because he died already. He only has access to the Icicle Spear, which uh, is not going to hit me, uh, kill me in one hit. So I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, and that is a good game for you to pick up. I hope you guys enjoyed my Frills Triples match. As for today's question of the day, uh, what is your favorite Ghost type move? Um, if I have to say it, I'm going to go for um, Shadow Ball because it's awesome.